Welcome to my channel. My name is Ross Miner and I'm totally blind. I'm a certified accessibility professional, avid gamer, and retired Paralympic swimmer. My life has definitely not been an easy one and so I figured I would give a little context about who I am. To start, I was born in Virginia Beach, but I spent much of my childhood growing up in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I had a pretty quintessential carefree childhood. I had a great family, I went to a great school, had a lot of friends, and I loved playing video games like Pokemon and Banjo-Kazooie on my Nintendo 64. Most notably, I also had sight, so this begs the question, well Ross, how did you go blind? Trigger warning for domestic violence and gun violence, because it is not a happy story. Click the card to skip the story about how I went blind. On June 14th, 2006, right after I turned eight, my mother decided to divorce my father. And in an act of retaliation, my father shot me in my sleep, shot and killed my brother Ryan, and then committed suicide. I was left completely blind in both eyes. My left eye is actually a prosthetic eye, and my right eye, the optic nerve and retina are completely severed. After I was blinded, I had to learn how to read and write braille and learn how to navigate using a cane and all sorts of things. But what I wasn't prepared for was all the accessibility barriers I would face, whether it be technology or navigating the world or in the education system. As you can imagine, being blinded in the manner that I was, was really difficult for me growing up. But at the end of the day, all I wanted was for things to go back to normal. After being released from the hospital, the first thing I wanted to do was go and play Pokemon with all my friends. At first I did it just for nostalgia purposes, but then I realized that I was actually able to hear what was going on in the game, and I could hear what Pokemon was being sent out just by memorizing all of the cries. And soon enough, I was able to play Pokemon with all my friends just by memorizing all of the sounds in the game. Fast forward to high school, I was still playing games like Pokemon, but then I began branching out into other games like Mortal Kombat. I participated in an AMA on Reddit, which stands for Ask Me Anything, and people were really curious how I was able to play Mortal Kombat. And that's when I created my YouTube channel and uploaded my first video, How I Play Mortal Kombat Without Sight. People found it really interesting, and this was when I realized my passion for showing people how I was able to do things. I was able to play video games and use a computer and text on my iPhone. I was attending university when I decided to continue my high school swimming career into the Paralympics. So I packed up, moved to Colorado, and began living and training at the Olympic and Paralympic Training Center. This was a really cool period of my life because I got to train, win a few gold medals, and I traveled to countries like Canada, Italy, and most importantly, Peru, where I got to swim in the 2019 Pan American Games. But while I loved competing and swimming, I didn't really feel like I was helping anyone and that's what really gives my life purpose is just to be able to help others. I decided to retire from the Paralympics and focus on my education and furthering my career in accessibility. Now I live in Los Angeles and work as an accessibility consultant where I work with companies and game studios to make their products more accessible for people who are disabled. For anyone unaware, accessibility is the philosophy that all products, services, technologies, and so on should be designed in a way so that people with disabilities can use them independently. On my channel, you can find videos about accessibility in all of its forms, whether that be video games, technology, or even accessibility in the wild. I just love covering it all because if it weren't for accessibility, I wouldn't be where I am today i wouldn't be able to do the things i'm able to do but if any of this sounds interesting to you feel free to check out my content down below and thank you so much for watching